Hello, good morning everyone. Um, today we going to learn um, VLAN. Okay, we're going to learn VLAN. What is VLAN? VLAN stands for uh, Virtual Local Area Network. Uh, you can use this uh, VLAN on your managed switch to separate your uh, network to be a different network if you want to uh, like um, you want to separate different department or different office to be the uh, to be a, a, a different network so that uh, both networks cannot um, um, link to each other so that you can use this uh, technique of VLAN okay so I will implement it on uh, GNS3 uh, I use GNS3 VM to implement it okay let's start on the genus 3 vm let me call it um, vlan okay vlan network okay this is my um, project okay then i will have a uh, switch this is my manage switch let me draw a diagram first. I will have five switch, okay, four, five, and then I will have also four switch. Sorry, four PCs. Okay, I will have four PCs. switch 2 switch 1 switch 3 switch 4 and switch 5 switch 4 will be connected to pc4 switch 3 will be connected to pc3 switch 2 will be connected to PC2 and switch one sorry so I will uh, choose interface one now one according to the PC one it's easy to remember only yeah I will organize it nicer like this PC5 will sorry switch five will be in the middle okay i will connect switch one to switch two okay switch one to switch two and switch two to switch five one slash five interface and switch 5 to switch 3 1 slash 3 1 slash 3 sorry this is already used so I will use another let's say 1 slash 2 1 slash 2 and switch 5 connected to switch 4 1 slash 5 let me show all the uh, interface level then this is one slash one one slash eleven one slash eleven one slash two one slash two is here one slash five one slash five is here this is one slash two one slash six one slash five is is that one slash six one slash six connected to one slash five yes switch four this is one slash four this is one slash two and one slash three four pc three yeah 
I have done diagram, okay? Then I will assign the VLAN and IP address. I will have um, two VLANs only, okay? For among those four PCs, I will have only two VLANs. VLAN 11 and VLAN 12, okay? Let's do it, okay? This PC2 is belong to VLAN 12. PC4 also VLAN 12. PC3 VLAN 11. And PC1 VLAN 11. Okay. So VLAN 11. VLAN 11 will have 192.168.0 11.0 slash 24 and VLAN 12 will have IP address of 192.168.12.0 slash 24 slash 24 okay let me start all the devices all switches and PCs And I will connect all console. Okay. First of all, I would like to configure the switch one. Okay, start from the switch. Let me arrange this. easy to see the diagram okay it's uh, starting booting okay yeah it's done booting so first of all I would like to uh, config the switch one okay this is the switch one and switch one have two ports two ports okay using two ports one is the trunk, one is the access. Okay. If we're talking about VLAN, we're talking about trunk and access. Okay. So what is a trunk? What is an access? Access port on my switch is the uh, port which is connected to only one VLAN ID. Okay. And trunk is the connection or ports which is connected to another switch so that uh, uh, many VLANs can traveling uh, along the connection okay this is a trunk so we have trunk trunk and this also trunk switch 5 to uh, switch 4 is also trunk okay the rest are access okay let's configure Enable uh, config T VLAN VLAN um, we have only VLAN 11 on switch 1 we don't have switch we don't have VLAN 12 on switch 1 okay so we need to create only VLAN 11 name let's say 11 name HR example is it and we go to interface f1 slash 1 okay switch port mode access switch port access vlan 11 
okay because uh, uh, pc pc1 is belong to vlan 11 okay switch one then you go to interface f1 slash 11 int f1 slash 11 enter this is a uh, trunk port so we need to switch port mode trunk okay switch port mode trunk that's it if we just mention the uh, switch port mode trunk it means we allow all vlans but if we specify only vlan then the only that vlan we assign on the trunk can uh, travel on the connection can travel on the port the trunk port okay so we have done configuration on switch one then we need to uh, enable vtp mode transparent okay because we want to see the uh, switch vlan how many vlans on the switch okay if we don't use that when we show run uh, we cannot see the vlans okay that is the command okay we have done the configuration on switch one we go to switch two before we go to switch two we need to write the configuration to the memory okay wr we, we write the memory okay, we write all configuration to the memory so we move to switch two switch number two enable the same thing you need to configure okay but on switch 2 we have vlan 12 and vlan 11 okay because vlan 12 will go here vlan 11 will come here okay so we need to create two vlans config t vlan 11 name hr is it vlan 12 name it just example is it so we have three interfaces connected to switch 2 so first of all i go to switch uh, port number 1 slash 2 int f1 slash 2 that is the access port okay so we go to switch port mode access switch port access vlan 12 and these two ports are the trunk ports okay so we go to this port and this port switch port mode trunk okay int f1 slash 11 switch port mode trunk int f1 slash 5 switch port more trunk okay that's it is it vtp mode transparent and then we uh, write all configuration to the memory okay do not forget then we move to switch number five switch number five we go to switch number five enable config t and all ports are trunk okay all ports are trunk and this switch also have two vlans okay vlan 11 and vlan 12 will come to the switch okay vlan 11 name hr vlan 12 name it example and then we go to interface f1 slash 5 switch port sorry mode trunk int f1 slash 6 
switch port mode track int f1 slash 12 switch port mode track all are trunk okay all are trunk so we have done configuration on the switch number five btp so we tp mode Do not forget write all configuration to the memory. Okay. W O. Okay. Okay. We have done configuration on switch number five. We move to switch number three. We will go last for number two. So go to number three. Switch three. Okay, switch three. Enable. Switch number three, we have only one VLAN, it, which is the VLAN 11. Okay. Name HR. According to the diagram, please see. Switch number three, only VLAN 11. Okay. According to diagram only. INT F1 slash 2 is the trunk port. Okay, switch port mode trunk. And switch number, sorry, port number F1 slash 3 is the access port. Okay, switch port mode access. Switch port access VLAN 11. Okay, 11. We have done configuration on switch number three. Okay. Do not forget to write the memory. Okay. By all configuration to memory. Then we move to switch number two. Sorry, number four, not two. This is two. I was say wrong just now. So switch number four is the last. So go to switch number four. Switch number four have only uh, one VLAN two. Okay. It's uh, VLAN twelve. So enable so config mode and VLAN twelve. Name sorry name IT. Just example of you can you can name or uh, your VLAN as your requirement okay this is just a sample I, I give name of vlan 11 is the hr belong to hr uh, vlan 12 belong to it okay um is it because we have only one vlan um one more um we go to interface f1 slash 5 it's a trunk port Okay, switch port mode turn, and we go to switch port number F one slash four. F slash four is connecting to the PC, so it is a uh, access port. Switch port mode access. Okay, switch port. Access VLAN 12. Okay, sorry, wrong spelling. Okay, mistyping. Switch port access VLAN 12. Done configuration of for five switches. Okay, V TP mode transparent. Then I go to right all configurations to the memory and then we configure the PC okay. PC4 let's say PC4 VLAN 12 right VLAN 12 is the 192.168.12.0 slash 24 network so I will give the IP address of the uh, uh, according to the PC name okay PC4 I will give dot 4 
PPC one is dot one, and also uh, according to the VLAN, we we use the network. Okay, so let's go to PC four. PC four to assign IP address on PC in virtual uh, in GNS three, we go to IP, and then we type the address. 192.168.12.4 slash 24 okay and then we go to pc1 pc1 ip 192.168.11.1 okay, slash 24 slash 24 and then we go to switch sorry pc3 PC3 also VLAN 11 IP 192.168.11.3 slash 24 okay the last one is PC2 PC2 IP 192.168.12.2 slash 24 Okay, now we have done all configurations. Then we try to test. Let me ping to PC or PC4 from PC2 because PC2 also VLAN 12, PC4 also VLAN 12. Okay. Let me go to PC2. Okay. okay. Ping. 192.168.12.4 Yeah, we got a reply from uh, dot four. It means we can connect from P PC2 to PC1 Sorry, PC4 And then we ping from PC4 to PC2 PC4 192.168 12.2 we also can ping from pc2 to uh, pc4 and pc4 to pc2 let's try to ping from pc1 to pc3 and pc3 to pc1 go to pc1 ping 192.168.11.3 okay we also can ping then from PC3, we ping back to PC1. Ping back to PC1. Okay. Yeah. So uh, if you have this kind of manage switch, you can separate your net your network. Even you have uh, the same switch. Okay. Even you have the same switch, but it must be manage switch. If you use unmanaged switch, you cannot uh, assign VLAN on the switch. Okay. So uh, let me try to switch this port. Let's say PC2, I connect to other ports. Okay. 1 plus 7, we did not uh, configure VLAN. Okay. Let's see switch number two. SH run. Show our running config. Okay, show our running config. We have a uh, VLAN eleven, VLAN twelve. This is belong to VLAN twelve. Okay, so we have assigned VLAN twelve access port on one slash two but we are connecting to switch number two with port one slash seven so one slash seven we did not assign to vlan 12. so what is happening after we connect to the p to the port which is not belong to vlan 12. so let me go to pc number two then I try to ping to PC4 again. It is reply or not? No, not reachable because 
port number 1 slash 7 is uh, belong to VLAN number 1 okay this is the default port okay, default port all default ports uh, are VLAN number 1 but we are using VLAN number 12 on PC4 okay so let me switch back to port number 1 slash 2 once let's do okay and i will go to pc2 then i ping back to pc4 again it's reply okay so this is the good security if someone try to connect to your network without your permission and they did not know the vlan uh, id and they did not know the address okay they just uh, plug the cable to the switch okay they thought that um they could connect to the network but no because of the vlan okay because of the vlan it will separate it our network okay so this is the powerful of vlan technology so i think uh, i have done configuration all the switch okay and pcs for vlan configuration on cisco products so if you have any problem just let me know and you can comment it below yes thank you for watching